So number four from paper two of the 2016 new hire, there we go, the circles question, and it looks quite nice and neat, there's no pictures or anything, seven marks. And the first four marks, in fact, is just for write down, write down the centres and radii of these two circles, which means, of course, they don't require any justification. So for circle one, I think I'll call the centre C1, just to borrow the name. That will simply be negative five, and that will be six. And the radius of one will be the square root of nine, which is three. And for circle two, if I borrow the name of the circle for its centre, that will be half of the negative, which is three. Notice there's no y, so that will be a zero. Need to work out the radius. The radius is going to be the square root of the centre squared, three squared plus zero squared, minus the number at the end, so that will be plus a 16. Well, that's 16 and 9 is 25. That's very handy, so R2 is 5. You only said write down, so simply stating them must get you a mark each. Show that the circles do not intersect. And look, the radii are nice little numbers as well to check that with for three marks. Don't intersect means simply the circles are further apart than the sum of their two radii. So you need the distance between the centres. It'll specify that way, they'll give it a name. Distance between centres, you don't of course need to do this, equals C1, C2, just to, so I can write that instead of these words now. So what is C1, C2? I'll do the square of it. That'll just be Pythagoras and those numbers, so difference in the x's, 3 take away negative 5. Difference in the y's, 0 take away 6 squared. Well, that is 8, well, I've done it already, 8 squared, that's negative 6 squared. You know the answer's 10 now, as soon as you see 6, 8, 10. But now I've committed myself to having to write this all down, so I have to go through race, that's 100. So C1, C2, do I have to do this bit as well? I don't know. C1, C2 equals 10. There's more down there than needs be, because there's only three marks. The next thing is, but, so what do the two radii add up to? What's R1 plus R2? Well, that's 3 plus 5, which is 8. So their arms aren't big enough to grab hold of each other, so they're separate and they don't intersect. But of course you have to make a statement. So I'll say this. C1, C2 is greater than R1, R2. Maybe I'll justify it as 10 is greater than 8. Which means the circles... do not intersect. And I'm miswriting a plus between the R1 and R2. 